and it's begin it's being treated like um, let's just give it to them. Let's just give them this. This will help. This will be favorable. Of course, that will not help. I always say something. Today, if I'm not wishing anyone bad, but if we find one of our policymakers having their children bad from going out of the country to go and school, and they have one child with disability, truth be told, they will pump money into our educational facilities. They will pump money into the funding of the needs of children with disabilities. It is high time we stop this idea that um, children with disabilities, they can always manage, their parents will manage. I wonder how parents of children with intellectual disabilities, with psychosocial disabilities, yet they still have to go out to the market, they still have to go to the office. Now, if they do not do that, how would they take care of the funding of their children in the school? So they are laid with the body of, I have to go about with this child. And going about with the child simply means that woman is deprived of the opportunity to earn a living. She's deprived of the opportunity to be economically empowered. She's deprived of the opportunity to also pay attention to the other children and the old front. Stand with this, I mean, disability inclusive budgeting for children with disabilities. We would have more children with disabilities not just going to school but enjoying going to school. When we have um, enough fun being pumped into our education, educational facilities, when we have barriers to educational facilities in terms of structures being removed, we see more children with disabilities. Absolutely interested in going to school rather than being forced to go to school or acts of children with disabilities more than willing to enroll their children in schools because those barriers have been removed fees have been taken care of by the relevant stakeholders nothing about us without us it's one thing that cannot be swept under the carpet the principle that has worked i know it has worked um, in other countries, and I see it working here if it is adapted. It will be our greatest job. I mean, it will be our fulfillment if we have one person with disability as a minister who will have persons with disabilities not fighting for their rights, not struggling to earn it, but it's already there. So innovative innovation, I think, that I would propose is having persons with disabilities involved at the very planning, at, at the very inception, planning, implementation, and then an independent monitoring and evaluation process to make sure that this, this inclusive budgeting process, exercise process is actually being properly implemented. Thank you.